Oh, hey, how you going? Uh, look, just a really quick one now. I've sort of put out my note for uh, for clients, and I'll just give a little overview of uh, a few of the highlights and lowlights that I want to be talking about for the week to come and exactly what's got on. G7 is done. Um, or, oh, you know, for, for, the, for the most part, that's, that's it. We're seeing the fallout now of what's happened, what's not happened. We'll get to that in a second. First off, the debt ceiling. We're now in the 18th week of debt ceiling negotiations or whatever the hell it is. I don't know. It's 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 ongoing. It should not be given as much air time as it is. They will come to a resolution either before the time, on the time, a day after, two days after. I don't really care, but it will come to a conclusion at some stage. Um, it's very funny. The uh, UBS is saying there's like a 25% decline if they don't reach a, reach an agreement. The White House says, quote, if the US defaults on its debt, the stock market could fall 45%. Do you think that's them talking their own book a little bit about how important it is to get this done or not? It won't. It won't. Um, it's not as big a deal as people are saying it is, um, or at least definitely the media. They go through, go around this ringer every single couple of years, and so here we are again. Anyway, yes, it should be paid attention to. Is it as big a deal? Probably not. Anyway, now let's get on to the G7. Remember, I've been trying to play the G7 and I've been trying to play the India trade, which is that the more that you see the decoupling from the US and China, then the more chance, uh, the more money there is for India, putting it really simple like that. The more business, the more corporate activity, and then the more funds that flow into the country and everything that goes on. India is the next China. Everyone's been saying that for a long time. It's really coming to fruition now. India's decade is ahead. Invest accordingly. Now we saw a couple of bits and pieces out of there, so I'm just gonna read off my screen because I'm a bit lazy. You know my scroll thing stopped working? Anyway, it goes up but not down. Oh, there you go. Okay, so no, you wanted to know that, of course. That's uh, that's exactly how it goes. Anyway, so I've been paying attention to sort of bits and pieces, the headlines that come out of the G7 to see what's funny and what's not, um, what should be paid attention to. Um, looking at this one, highlight of the week. Uh, so yes, here we go. G7 issued its strongest condemnation of China, citing concerns over the rising military and economic security threats posed posed by Beijing. Seriously concerned about events in the East and South China Seas. Amazing. That's them going in one way. Going back the other direction, we've got the chip war. China's, uh, and I always forget the name of this, cyber, cyber security review, which is done by the Chinese, no, the cyber security, or, cyber security Authority of China, the CAC. Anyway, um, they have uh, followed a seven week investigation into Micron, biggest chip, one of the biggest chip makers in the world, the biggest chip maker in the world, I believe. Um, and they have come out and said, that, and I have this here, announcing that Micron products failed to pass a cybersecurity review. A little bit like what the rest of the world did with Huawei a while ago, but uh, Beijing warned operators of key infrastructure against buying the company's goods, saying it found, quote, relatively serious, end quote, risks in Micron products sold to the country. The tech sector has become a battlefield over national That's all Bloomberg stuff, right? Amazing. So now the, ch the chips are getting banned from Micron. That's huge. Um, and what we're going to see... Uh, what else have we got here in the winner's circle? So um, we've seen, yes, the US and G7 sort of throwing throwing things, bits out there about China. And yeah, they're trying to work towards something that oh, there's always friendly chat that's sort of coming on. Biden did sort of talk a little bit friendly. Okay, so it's not all not all bad stuff. But China coming out, banning those things, it's going to be back and forth, continue to do this. If you think that, that is the case going in for the next few years, invest accordingly. Now, not only India is the benefit, beneficiary of this nonsense, but also Japan um, so there's a way to look at some of those Japan managed funds you might just want to have a look at. So India managed funds, Japan managed funds, Japan going up, it's at a new 33 year high, their stock market. Um, it still looks quite investable based on this sorts of chat. TSMC, Samsung, Micron, Intel were in discussions that could result in significant manufacturing coming back to Japan as a direct result of economic security concerns and the global redrawing of supply chains. I'll say that again, because that's the most important sentence that we've got going on for the next few years. Significant manufacturing coming back to Japan, insert another country if you want to, India, as a direct result of economic security concerns and the global redrawing of supply chains. I'll put that into a short, um, which I will. Anyway, so we're having a look at some Japanese managed funds. You should too, I'm not gonna name any names, um, but have, just have a bit of a look through it um, and see what's available there too. The next big one is Asian, Imports of Russian energy, coal, LNG, and the dirty fuel oil. All of those numbers are going up. I think that fuel oil has actually hit record on the last a record the last two months, record highs. Heat wave continuing through Asia. They want to try and make sure that they've got enough energy to keep enough power to keep the aircon running. And also, if we're coming into El Nino, it's going to get even worse. Pay attention to that. So there was that first derivative. I've been talking about the weather in Asia. It's going to get even even worse. Uh, 
um, invest accordingly. Last off, there was just some things on single stock, but that's not really important that's in there. So look, the specifics that I mentioned to my clients are for my clients. This is more of a general sort of bits and pieces that's there. If you've got any more um, questions for me, then you, please just go ahead and fire them back. But that'll be updated uh, officially out on my blog over the next couple of days, um, just with some bits and pieces that's there. However, so looking at Japan, looking at India, and looking at Russian energy, which I don't think you can really invest in directly, but uh, we'll save that for a different time. Anyway, thanks guys, have yourself a good one, and I'll talk to you later on, bye.